In this first video, for measurements of 3D shapes grade 9, we are going to revise the total surface area of a cube, rectangular prism and triangular prism. To form a prism, a two-dimensional shape is stretched in one direction to form a three-dimensional shape with two identical shapes on either side. These two identical shapes can be any shape you like. We are, however, going to focus on specific ones. A square base shape forms a cube, rectangle forms a rectangular prism, a triangle to form a triangular prism, and later on we'll have a look at the circle, which forms a cylinder. The total surface area of a shape is the sum of all the areas of the individual sides of the shape. Therefore, it is useful if you can picture how the three-dimensional shape opens up into a net so that you can calculate the area of the individual sides and then add them up. For the cube, we have six identical squares. Therefore, you can determine the area of one square and multiply that by six. For the rectangular prism, we have three pairs of identical sides. Therefore, you can determine the area of the three sides and then double that. And then lastly, for the triangular prism, you have two identical triangular sides and then three rectangle sides that you need to add up. Let's go and have a look at some examples. Calculate the total surface area of each of the following shapes. Number one, a cube with side lengths of 12 centimeters each. As I've mentioned, the total surface area of a cube consists of six identical squares and the area of a square is side squared. This means here we will have six squares of 12 by 12 centimeters, or then 12 squared. This will give us a total surface area of 800 and 64. And because total surface area is still an area we are calculating, the unit will be unit squared. Example 2 is a rectangular prism, and to calculate this total surface area, we need to calculate the area of all the different rectangles. Firstly, on the left hand side, as well as on the right hand side, we have a rectangle of 10 by 15. So, the area of one such rectangle will be 10 times 15, which we will now double because we have two of them. Next up, at the front and at the back, we have two more identical rectangles of 6 by 10. So, for them, the area will be 2 6 by 10 rectangles. And finally, at the bottom, we have a rectangle of 15 by 6 meters, which is repeated at the top. So the last part to add up will be two 15 by 6 rectangles. This will give us a total surface area of 600 meters squared. Example 3 is a triangular prism, which means we need to start off with the area of the two triangles. Here we have a triangle at the top and another identical one at the bottom. The area of a triangle is a half times by its base multiplied by its perpendicular height. And in this case, the base and the height is 3 and 4. Here we have two of these triangles, so we will have to double this area. You could have also chosen to know that 2 times a half is 1 and simply work with base times height. Because this is a scalene triangle with all the sides being different, every single rectangle will be unique. I'm going to start off with the rectangle at the back on the left hand side, which is a 6 by 4 centimeter rectangle with an area of 6 times 4. The next rectangle is at the back on the right hand side, and this is a 3 by 6 rectangle. And lastly, we have another rectangle in the front, and this one is a 5 by 6 rectangle, and we also need to add that area. This triangle's total surface area is then 84 centimeters squared. 
Example 4. A pencil box is made in the form of a triangular prism and is open at the top. The triangle is an equilateral triangle with each side 10 centimeters. Calculate the amount of material that is needed in centimeter squared to make the box. This means we need to determine the total surface area of the shape. So let's break it up into the different sides. Firstly, we have a triangle at the bottom. This time, however, we are not going to double this area because the top of this box is open. Then we need to add the three rectangles. And because this is an equilateral triangle with all the sides equal in length, all three rectangles will have the same length of 10 and breadth of 15. So for our triangle, we're going to have area of a half times base times perpendicular height. And then we're going to add the three rectangles and their area is length times breadth. Even though we know that all the sides of this triangle are the same length, we do not know the perpendicular height's length. So we need to start off by calculating this. When drawing a perpendicular height in an equilateral triangle, the side to which you draw that height will always be halved. So here we'll have two parts of five centimeters. So now to determine the length of that perpendicular height, we can make use of the theorem of Pythagoras in a 90 degree triangle. So the perpendicular height squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared minus the shorter side squared. This will give us 75, which means that the height will be 5 square root 3, which I won't round off yet to make my answer more accurate. Now we can go and substitute. For the triangle, we have a half multiplied by the base of 10, which is then multiplied by the perpendicular height, which is 5 square root 3. And as mentioned earlier, the dimensions of each rectangle will be a 10 by 15 rectangle. So the total surface area of the shape is 493 comma three zero centimeters squared, which is then also the amount of material needed to make the box.